I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on functions. In this video, we have an application thinking question based on finding quadratic function when we are given the x-intercepts and a point. The question here is, find the quadratic function in standard form whose graph passed through the point p minus 120 and has x-intercepts at minus 5 plus minus square root 6. Now since the radical root is given to us, this becomes slightly difficult. Let us see how to solve such questions. So any quadratic function we can write as f of x equals 2. We'll begin with factored form since we are given the roots, right? So we can write this as a times x minus first root times x minus the second root, right? So in our case, the roots are minus 5 plus square root 6 and minus 5 minus square root 6. So we can write this as x minus, let me write in brackets, minus 5 plus square root 6, right? Times the other factor, which is x minus, minus 5 minus square root 6, correct? So, so if you expand, what do you get? Well, this is, uh, let's expand this portion first. We get x minus minus is plus 5, and that becomes minus square root 6 times x plus 5 minus minus becomes plus square root 6, correct? Now, if you look into it, you can think about difference of squares when you multiply a minus b times a plus b right? So you could write this as equal to a times x plus 5 whole square, right? a square minus b square, well let me put brackets here, minus square root 6 whole square, correct? Okay? So that becomes a square minus b square, which I could write as, let's expand this, x square plus 2ab which is 10x, plus b square which is 25 minus square root 6 square is 6. So that is a times x square plus 10x 25 minus 6 will be 19. So that becomes our function. Now to find the value of a we can utilize this point given to us which is minus 1 20. So if I substitute the point which is minus 120 in our equation f of x is 20 right so we get 20 equals to a times minus 1 square plus 10 times minus 1 minus 19 clear or we could write this as 20 equals to a times 1 that is minus 10 and this is minus 19 right 25 minus 6 is plus 19 so this is not minus but plus 19 right 25 minus 6 is plus 19 so let's take this equation on the right side and solve so we have 20 equals to a times uh, so 1 minus 10 plus 19 so 1 plus 19 is 20 we can write this as 20 minus 10 right so we get 20 equals to a times 10 or 20 divided by 10 is equal to a. So we get the value of a as 2. So therefore, the function f of x can now be written as 2 times all this. We'll write this. We know now the value of a. We'll write all this, which is x square plus 10x plus 19. All right. So when you expand this, you get 2x square plus 20x plus 38, right? So that becomes the quadratic function in standard form, right? So we get our answer, which is f of x equals to 2x square plus 20x plus 38.
So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. The idea here is that these are the two roots and we can start with the factored form of the equation. Here we have applied the strategy that a plus b times a minus b is a square minus b square. All right. So since we know a square minus b square is basically equal to a plus b times a minus b, right? So since you can treat this as a and this as b, so we have a minus b times a plus b, we get a square, right? This is our a square and that is b square. And that is how you could simplify this and then find the value of a using the given point p minus 120 to get the answer. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.